today we work with Lustic. I just wanted to make this quick video for any of you guys who are working at home and are plagued with that old neck and shoulder tension from being on the computer too long. You'll see I've got this broomstick, lovely broomstick here, which is why I'm saying for you guys that are at home, um, obviously this equally applies to being at work, but it's not as hard, to, it's easy to find a broomstick necessarily in the office. I don't know, if you can, great. Maybe just go grab a mop or something. <laughs> it will uh, work equally well. You want to start with the broomstick behind your neck. It's kind of like we're on a guillotine here and we're just resting the arms on top. We bring the feet nice and wide so we can get some full rotation happening through the hips and the whole torso. So the whole spine is going to rotate and as you start to rotate, see if you can keep at the beginning your feet flat down on the ground so that as your hips rotate, you create some movement in the feet. So what's that got to do with neck and shoulders? <laughs> a fair bit, because generally we have restriction at the top of the body there is also gonna be restriction at the bottom. So we start to mobilize the feet a little bit and then coming back to the center and then just starting to lift one arm up Bring the arm in front of the body now, and just like you're kayaking, we start to move the arms. I know with kayaking, it's all about the body, but at the moment, we're not actually moving the body, we're just moving the arm, just a similar motion. So we're sweeping one arm up, and you can put some pressure through your fingertips to push the stick, or try to pull the um, palms together. And then we go in the opposite direction. And when we're going backwards with your stroke, we really focus on that sweeping under of the arm. So you're sweeping up and over, creating opening through the shoulder joints. We come back to the center, going up and over your head again. And then bring your arms all the way above your head. We come down and we're gonna come behind you. So when we come behind, you might need to bring your hands a bit uh, broader on the stick and we come behind all the way making sure that as we do we're not turking the head forward or arching through the back so you want to keep connected through the front of the body tailbone stays heavy and we're just arch uh, extending through the shoulders without letting the shoulders creep up so you want to stay nice and broad into the shoulders as you move through that a couple of times Next, we bring the stick behind, and again, we just start to rotate from side to side, just feeling with the stick now that it's on the sacrum, so that hard bit of your pelvis behind you, which is actually your spine, <laughs> at the back of your pelvis. So we just keep the stick there to make sure that it is actually the pelvis which is rotating, not just the body. Coming back to the center, we're going to roll the stick down behind your knees, bend your knees quite strongly, bring the weight into the heels, and then feed your hands underneath the stick and see if we can curl through the spine to get the stick into the nook of your elbow pits. Then we draw the palms up and we start to draw the head down towards the stick as you start to extend through your legs. We keep the um, fingertips reaching forward. Bend through your knees again. You can do this whole thing with the belly relaxed on your thighs. So you don't have to be working into the abdominals or ideally you're not. And we just let the head stay hanging heavy as we move in and out of your leg stretch. As you come out, we're still getting a nice lower back stretch all the way up to the back of the neck with that head staying down. And we do another one here. And then extending into your legs, bending just to take the stick away, keeping your, um, bringing your palms to their face up now, lift your arms up above your shoulders and then roll yourself up, reaching the stick up above you, keep the shoulders broad, keep pulling, try to pull the stick apart and roll all the way up and then come to the top. One last move, we bring the, the, the arms bent just so I can show you we're rolling up the neck. So we're going to put a little bit of pressure of the stick into the back of the neck and we're going to push the stick upwards and you can also roll the stick upwards here. 
So we've got an upward pressure on the very base of the skull. Not so much that you're overworking into the front of the throat, but just enough so you can feel a gentle lift up. And then from here, we're just going to start to gently move the head right and left. So it's a really small movement just to create a little bit of um, pressure into the base of your skull. And then coming back to the center, and we just gently roll up and down through the stick, pushing up into the base of the skull and then back into toward the neck. And then from there, rolling back down the neck, now taking your arms out into the guillotine position. Make sure that the stick isn't um, pulling or um, uncomfortable on your neck, so you can always roll it further down on the back of your shoulders if it's not comfortable for your back. And here we're just going to a nice side bend. So we start to push down on the stick end that's lowering. And we, if it's comfortable for your neck, look up towards the stick, the top hand, and then coming back. So we kind of, rather than just dropping into your side bend, we're actively drawing the stick down with the lower hand to open through the shoulder on the top hand and using our oblique muscles on the compressing side to keep our spine a little more upright so we're not just sinking down and letting the hips shift so just one more time each side like that and you can obviously add a little rotation in your side bend as well back and forth with the top hand or just keep it a simple side bend opening up and you can use this bottom hand to control the movement and then coming back to the center hopefully you feel great ready to get back to another hour of power on your laptop thank you a brush or a mop on the end of it be aware of spatially what's happening around you